All right, hello, good afternoon. Back again. This time I'm on the FCZ complex again, but on the notoriously difficult Aldrian Lake. Uh, it's a pretty huge water, about 45 hectares or something, 50 hectares. It's got anywhere, the estimate is anywhere between 100 and 200, 250 carp. Um, but it's got a few big uncaught fish in here that are supposed to be somewhere in the 30 kilo range. Whether mid low 30s, I don't know, but they're definitely uncaught. Many people have seen them. Um, I'm here in uh, Peg 3, and I've been here for about eight days or something. In that time, the first day I got here, went out in the boat with a fish finder, zigzagged across the lake here. I guess it must be an area of three or four hectares and I saw only four fish that are of any notable size. They could have been wells or catfish or large bream or something. Um, so apart from one day I haven't seen really any signs of carp and then I saw a few small carp jumping. Um, I had a run a few nights ago, I came out of the bivvy uh, fish went into the weed and then the hook pulled so but anyway I was pleased with that because even to get a run on Aldrin is not easy um, there are certain places that the fish tend to congregate here but unfortunately they're normally in the private places because they have a private bank here and there's a lot of private houses and bits and pieces same sort of rules as the other FCZ uh, lakes, no feeding, PVA bags only, um, but on this lake you can use braided line and barbed hooks. Um, the weather's been really changeable, really changeable. Normally in the mornings it's pretty overcast, uh, winds are swinging around a lot, and then in the afternoons it can brighten up and then start raining again, and it's been like that for the most of the time I've been here. Um, what I'm going to do now is uh, just run through with you, give you a little bit of a look around the lake. Okay, there we go. It's peg one over there. Peg two's in the centre here. And I'm on peg three, this is peg three here see I'm going to bring you around and show you the rest of the lake here there's my boat down there if you can see it okay there we have the private bank on Aldrian all the way along there right to the corner and around there so I don't know if you can see that little island but that's one complete private bank so about 30% of the lake is is uh, private and we come and have a look around here now there's place four there and then you've got places five six and seven and a couple more places along there and then places eight nine and ten across there but you can see it's a it's a pretty sizable lake and to only have a stocking of 150 200 carp you can s imagine that it's pretty difficult to catch the fish <laughs> uh, average depth about five meters runs to about eight or nine meters if you can have a look down there you can see the water quality is almost perfect I mean it's drinkable really 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 uh, clean water because these are used for water reservoirs and that's why you're not allowed to bait PVA bags only small PVA bags only okay
Okay, so the final blog from Aldrian. Um, been a tough time, about a week and a half here. And uh, just the one, one run and one lost fish. But I really didn't expect to even have a run because uh, it's over a 50 hectare water with 150, 200, 250 carp, something in, around there. So uh, um, it's just a matter of learning and waiting and seeing where the fish are. Um, not really showing themselves very much, occasionally jumping, very occasionally, nothing cruising around on the surface, nothing really coming in close. Um, so it is a bit of a tricky water. I know another angler has been fishing basically on and off for three months, um, like every every night of the week, having the weekends off and not caught anything at all. So uh, it's, it's, it is a tricky water. Um, there's some good spots in the private place by an island but unfortunately can't fish that um, but anyway I'll be back on Aldrian to try and prize some of these beautiful carp out of here and uh, next trip I'll be heading over to FCZC to see what I can do on there bye